Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to detail a gas station. Now, um, let's start out with some of the objects that we need to have to do this. Um, so the main few you're going to need are gas station number one, gas cover, uh, you also can use a gas sign, and you'll definitely need a gas pump. The sign is optional, it just depends on really how you want to decorate this but you know those three are generally the main parts and you can find all of those four just by searching gas in the search bar uh, so besides that um, you know we're just going to use a similar setup to pretty much the grocer I actually forgot a couple but uh, you'll be using uh, pretty much all the shelves you'll be using um, some of these vendors a cooler as well and you could even use uh, the chair and table setup that we used before. Let me get out the checkout as well. And yeah, that should be pretty much it. So uh, to start off detailing this, you're going to want to place um, the, the gas cover first. Because this is the main part of your uh, gas station besides the actual building. Now there's multiple ways you can place this uh, the most common is just placing it out front and trying to center it on the building you don't have to do this but um, a good way of doing this would be uh, doing control B on the building and control N on the gas cover and then you have it automatically centered in the building so then pretty much at this point you just need to decide how far you want to drag this out and leave it at that so you could either do it like that way or let's see you could also um, I've seen them this way as well where you can drag them out to the side and leave them like this as well so it really just depends on what your style of gas station is but I think I'm just gonna stick with this one right now because it's pretty much the most commonly used one uh, it's used in Washington and I think in PEI so uh, the next step has to do with how to place these gas pumps because Truthfully, they're the second most important thing to uh, place inside of your gas station. So I'm going to use the Control B, Control N method as as well to uh, center these in the very center. I'm going to rotate them before I move them out uh, 90 degrees, and they are not double sided. As you can see, this side is the main side. Actually, yeah, I'll leave it like that. So I'm just going to use Snap uh, Translate to move this out. I'm going to snap translate that one about the same distance. I might have to move it by hand a little bit. And then I can even just snap translate these ones all the way over here. And I will rotate them just because they were not... well we'll have the, uh, the side facing outwards on both sides. So pretty much uh, what you're going to want to do next, of course you guys can do this by hand, but uh, it's best to do this all at the same time where you move them all up just so you can see that red ring at the bottom. Of course you could leave them like they were before but this just makes them fully out of the ground. Now that's pretty much it for this outside decoration area. Um, there's only a few more things you could add. You could maybe add a propane tank. Propane tank like this. You could add a few of those, you know, here or there. I've seen them added as decoration in that way. I mean, they're also, they're obviously optional, so it really just depends on what you want. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's move on to decorating the inside of the building. We're probably going to want to decide where to put the checkout first. So, there is a large area in here, and there's obviously many ways you could do this. Uh, one place you could place the checkout is right here and you'd probably just want to have it at a 90 degree angle from what it's originally at and you'd probably want to place it right against this wall here so this definitely would work um, this is not the way that's used most often but it would work for sure uh, the way that's used most often is actually like this so you pretty much just put the checkout counter like that right up against the wall there so that works as well. Um, pretty much any of those configurations are going to be fine though. So it just depends on what you want. 
And of course, let's put the register on top of that. Otherwise, you know, it would look kind of bare. And rotate that around to where it makes sense. Okay, so for the rest of the inside of the building, you're pretty much going to want to uh, lay it out exactly like the grocer over here. That's pretty much the only way I've seen them laid out, uh, pretty much with aisles and stuff like that. And you could even uh, have a sort of similar setup, uh, I'll copy and paste this one exactly actually, as in the grocer with the nice table and sort of eating area as sort of like a chill, you know, town gas station. So let's place in some of these uh, shelves. Uh, we're going to use, which shelf is this? Shelf number two. And let's just place them. We could either place the aisles like this or like that. And I think with the, in order to use this space better, gosh dang it, rotated the building. I think we will place them like this because I think it'll fit best with uh, the tables and chairs being there. So I'm going to place them against the wall. And of course, guys, this can all be approximated. You guys don't have to copy me exactly at all. And I'm just going to copy-paste this over. Maybe fit in, maybe make a little bigger gap. And maybe we'll just have two aisles. And we'll move them away from the wall a little bit because we'll place a cooler there. And then for this one, since the tables and chairs are not in the way, we can just move it out a little larger, longer. So let's also place maybe the cooler back here. Uh, we'll place a couple of them for your cold drinks and pull it away from the wall a bit and then you can pretty much just copy paste these and that one might be a little too close to the chairs but I think that'll be fine so this is a good way to fill up the space uh, something else you could do is place these types of vendors either inside the building or outside I know outside would be perfect I think generally in real life they usually have them outside the building but uh, you could definitely place those inside uh, there's also an ice machine that are usually placed outside ice box I think it is yep and that would definitely fit outside though I have seen these inside as well it just depends on how you want to organize the space in there of course one last thing that you could do is place this sign uh, you could either place it right next to the building as sort of like just a large bill billboard advertising or you could place it along the road sort of advertising that in the next town there'll be a, a fuel stop either way really works um, you know it really depends on how you want to lay out your town I guess in a larger sense. Uh, something you could also do is place these other shelves in there. Um, shelf number three is a little awkward because it doesn't really seem like it would fit inside a gas station. But shelf number one actually could be used in a couple ways. It's sort of more of a hardware type shelf. And so I guess if you wanted to have a hardware section inside your gas station, you could place this somewhere in there. Now I haven't really left enough room for that. I've sort of filled it with these grocery aisles type things and the coolers and this seating area so you could definitely prioritize that though and have a uh, sort of hardware section now of course as you guys place items it's pretty much up to you as I mentioned before this could be a hardware type area so you could place like hammers metal scrap cloth that sort of thing uh, also I mean I guess you could place a chainsaw handsaw that sort of thing as well inside of these um, aisles definitely be placing some sort of food and drink uh, these are generally good pit stops for players just to stop in real quick to get a quick fill up of gas as well as food and so definitely have cooler things in here that need to be refrigerated and maybe dry goods on the shelves so anyway guys that's pretty much it for this unturned map editor tutorial hopefully you guys liked this video and enjoyed it and if you did please like the video and subscribe if you want to I will see you all. Oh, 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 oh,